Hello, everybody. This is Purge, bringing you a first person gameplay commentary, or I guess a third person. I'm going to be playing Magnus today. And by that, I mean I played Magnus a week ago, and this is a replay, and we're going to be watching it. So uh, I did this about a week ago. It was a long lane Magnus. I randomed, so I'm just going to talk about a couple things while we get into this. Uh, if you guys watched my last video, the patch update video at the end, I said I was going to a LAN tournament. That was yesterday. We ended up winning that. It was really fun. Uh, I don't think we lost any games. Yeah, we definitely did not lose any games. We played, I believe, three best of threes to get all the way to the finals, and then we ended up winning. So, um, I'm playing this game, by the way, with Blitz, Kennegut, and I believe Hotbit as well. Begins. I'm pretty sure. So, um, yeah. Long, long Lane Magnus. Uh, wow, I always said the bad. Long Lane Magnus. That's really tough to say. I was playing Long Lane for the team yesterday, so I got a lot of practice in. So, I'm, I will talk about some of those little tips and things that I picked up from uh, playing yesterday but uh, all around a great time if you guys were there and I met you thanks for coming it was really fun and uh, a lot of the other teams uh, um, actually knew some of my content so that was really fun to say hi to you guys and a lot of you guys did impress me a lot with your play so on to the game um, I started with boots stout shield tango clarity I asked for a salve I believe or a tango I'm not sure which but I got the regen um, you can't afford this otherwise um, it's kind of an overpowered um, item build basically his anti-mage is going to harass my mana down, so I'm going to run away. So, yeah, Boots start is really good. If, if I didn't random, I would replace that Boots with two Ironwood branches. That's what I was doing when I'm playing Magnus previously. Kind of almost every single melee long lane build, actually, is about that. Um, Magnus is semi-survivable because of Skewer, so I haven't worried about that much. I shouldn't let him drain my mana, by the way. This is a mistake here. But the cool thing about Skewer is you can get back to your base very, very easily here. So I was considering doing the Skewer. I'm going to hit him a couple times. And I don't remember, I guess I was going to wait to do it here. So I'm popping some tangos. Uh, keep in mind, Skewer can go super far. This is going to be a good demonstration of why Magnus is OP, in my opinion, um, and why he is getting nerfed. Uh, skewer is going to change the... The Skewer range is going to be different at level 1. It'll go down to 60% range. I'm sorry, 600 range instead of 1200 at level 1. So um, it won't make you nearly as survivable in the future. So it's once again harassing me. The long lane guys, or this guy's doing a good job harassing me in the lane. So makes things a little tough for me and then I do this so that is why skewer is really not fair at all I'm gonna hit him one more time we get the first blood anti-mage won't dive me because he's not crazy and then I can salve as well as clarity you should never get first blood as a long lane solo and the only reason I could is because I could skewer the guy underneath my tower didn't that seem unfair to you because it should it's definitely a little unfair so it's not gonna be as doable in the future a 1200 range is going to be long gone soon, and um, soon it'll be 600 range, which means I would have had to, or, or Dazzle would have had to been much closer to the tower. But regardless, if you guys ever see a Magnus running on the opposite side of you, it's definitely, it's exactly what he's going to be doing. So um, I now have uh, my, myself and my clarity are all used up, of course, try to get as many last hits as possible under tower. I know I could only get some of those there, um, unless I planned ahead better, which I did not. Um, first item that I want to get is a bottle, most likely, when I play a long lane Magnus. That's usually the way to go, because it fills up your mana pool a lot better to be able to use Shockwave as well as Skewer. Arcane Boots is obviously great, but usually you don't get a first blood in your long lane, and you don't have an extra 400 gold. So in this case, I actually had a lot of extra money, but um, it's not the normal circumstance. And I have to be careful not to take right clicks, because now I don't have Skewer mana anymore, as you can see. Only 80 mana pool to do that. But regardless, once your mana is drained, Anti-Mage actually does a lot less damage to you. Because uh, keep in mind that the actual act of the mana being drained costs uh, does physical damage to you. So um, when I get mana drained, it hurts me. If I'm out of mana, Anti-Mage actually doesn't do that much more damage than a regular hero. So keep that in mind. At this point, it's like, okay, well, if my mana is drained, it's no big deal. I'll just continue to last hit. As long as your hero is not requiring your mana to be extremely effective in your lane, um, it's going to be okay. And, and as the case is right now, I'm actually solo versus the anti-mage, which is possibly a mistake by the Dazzle. Now, this game, I did end up going to Arcane Boots first, but I actually don't recommend doing this if you're at all having a normal lane. And this is an atypical lane because of the fact that I did get a first blood. So what I'm looking to do here is using a Shockwave while doing Harass on anti-mage, which I did end up doing there. So always good to grab last hits while also... Nailing the hero for some damage. It's going to drain my mana again. Slight mistake for me. I'll have to wait 35 seconds before I can use another shockwave. But I don't quite remember everything about this game. So we'll be learning and uh, seeing some new stuff as well. By the way, I was fake nicked. This game is Yolo mid, as you can tell. So that was me. Um, I, I think it was a mistake for Dazzle to leave the lane personally. Um, 
I did first blood him, and maybe he wasn't gonna be able to do a whole lot since I got the XP. It's kind of hard to say. Looks like he went top. It's Dazzle Spirit Breaker. So, you know, I guess that kind of makes sense. Put the Dazzle up there with the carry, who's also gonna need a lot of help. Uh, he's versus a tri lane, it looks like, so that's obviously not a good situation for him to be in. And I'm about to get more mana again. Here comes the Arcanes. So, once again, I have Shockwave mana. Once again, I'm getting some good harassing. If I actually. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was laughing pretty hard from that kill, I remember. And then uh, the Dazzler got a triple kill and I was confused. So that happened. That's gonna put him back in the game slightly. Oh, looks like he sunstriked him, nice. And you can see the invisible panda because we're in a replay, guys, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see that. So keep that in mind. You can't see him on the minimap though, if you look over there. H-Mage once again is like, yeah, we're gonna drain your mana. He's not going to do it. So from here, we'll see what I buy. I don't quite remember. Is It, it is a magic stick. So this is going to increase my possibility of having mana. If in case I get drained, I can sometimes burst up and have enough for skewer. The important part. Anti-Mage continues getting free farm. Uh, something very important when you're playing long lane, by the way, is looking at the map all the time. Um, this lane is atypical for the fact that, like we said, um, the harass ended, essentially. The harass started from the Dazzle, and then he left, which is weird. Normally, you have to constantly be a little worried about getting ganked. Um, so generally keeping your eyes on the map and saying, okay, there's four heroes that I can see right now. I see teal, I see purple, I see yellow, and I see blue. Those are the four heroes. I know 100% where they are. That means that if I get ganked, the one mystery person that's not on the map is can come out of the jungle. So top's one person is going to come for me. So you can generally shut that down or at least be more survivable or play aggressive or play your lane based on how many heroes you see. So since I knew there are two heroes top, one of which was Dazzle, I knew their mid was there, means that tops, the fifth hero, which is Enchantress, could be ganking me. So as long as I'm aware of an Enchantress possibly ganking me, then I don't have to worry too much. And regardless, Magnus has such an uh, easy escape with Skewer anyways that getting ganked is really not that big of a deal. If you're playing something like Beastmaster or Tidehunter, you have to worry a lot more about getting ganked. So... Keep that in mind when you end up playing a long lane solo. Um, it's all a lot about vision, and it's a lot about getting as many last hits as much EXP as possible while you're playing your lane. It's uh, not always easy. Not always easy, that's for sure. It's pretty easy to not pay attention for just a half second to get ganked. So at this point, my mana is pretty low. I do have reverse polarity. I'm looking for a rune because it's six minutes. Dazzle found a DD top, so I now know it's not there, but it looks like I decided to go. Um, I'm going to have decent mana for arcanes as well as a bottle. So I know he's being chased still. Mana pool is solid. There's a panda, and yeah. So I kind of wasted my time here, it looks like. Unless we want to combo him. It's definitely a possibility. I don't know exactly what we were talking about at the time. But we could go in on him. If he has a Sunstrike queued up, we should be absolutely set, but kind of spending a lot of time here. And he's playing safe, because I think he knows that I'm actually missing, so... That's going to cause some problems. I don't know if this Bruma or Pandas... Sorry, what's his name? PA? That's right. The PA is going to die. Now, I could kind of dive on this. I could do a Skewer into Ulti, if needed. Looks like that's what we're looking to do. Dazzle's going to start going aggressive, and this is going to be my opportunity here. And all of a sudden, I see a new hero. Now, that is why Reverse Polarity is so good, guys, because it does disable. Oh god, I can't remember if he goes down or not. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay, nope, double kill. Alright, big big swing there for the top lane. Um, use Skewer to initiate, try to group your enemies together, and then use Reverse Polarity. That's an AoE stun for 2.5 seconds, it goes through all magic immunity, and it does some good damage. In the patch, it's getting a very, very slight nerf to damage, if we look at the skill quickly. Um, I think the damage and the stun duration go down slightly, I think. I'm not sure about damage, uh, but stun duration for sure does reduce a bit. Creep stun duration is different. I had no idea. That's weird. Okay, so Shockwave, um, I did Shockwave first, I screwed them together, I reverse player deed, and then I did another Shockwave, which is obviously a lot of damage. So I pick up a Magic Wand here, I'm uh, waiting for the Courier, I might send back, or I might Bottle Crow this if the rune doesn't spawn, and it is going to be top, so um, I'm going to send the Courier back it looks like, we're going to see Lion die bottom to a gank. And I know that Invoker doesn't have a bottle either, because Invokers almost never get bottles, so that means I, I decided to go top to grab the rune, which is what I was opting to do here. Moving my hotkeys around a bit, and it is an illusion, so I can snag that one up. Not the best rune for Magnus, uh, generally the best would, I would say, something like double damage, regen, haste. Illusion's okay, 
but it's not that great. I grabbed two last hits there while harassing. Once again, very useful to do. So, three, uh, three kills and one assist is great for a long lane solo hero. Usually you expect to die at least once, especially if you're up against a tri lane. So, not always the easiest thing in the world to do, but if you can play it correctly, it's, it's pretty fun when you play a good game of uh, long lane solo, but it's definitely not easy. My illusions kind of got in my way there for the last sitting, which is annoying. Phantom Assassin gets killed on the top lane, and it is 7 to 9. And I sent some of the illusions over because I want to get some vision from the jungle, basically. I saw the enchantress there just now, but I didn't see her the previous time there. Now she's going to start hitting me, and I have to worry about dying. There's my arcane boots. I was trying to skewer her over there, but my positioning wasn't correct. I needed to get behind her before I did that, rather than kind of just stand next to her. So I deserve to miss that one. And I think I was thinking about jumping on her, so I sent the illusion at least. Gonna once again harass. Figured I'd annoy the guy. This is a TP coming from Lions, so now we're gonna try to get a kill. I don't have enough for reverse polarity. Okay, it gives me clarity potions. Very good. This is gonna put me up towards enough for reverse polarity and maybe another spell. He's gonna start the hex off. Uh, not the best coordination, so I actually just sit back here because I didn't want to go for it. I maybe should have uh, walked in earlier, but um, I kind of just sat back and was waiting for the clarity, so. Too bad. Uh, the bottle didn't really do that much mana regen for me either, only about, what, 140, 210? About 210 mana. It's not bad, but not that great. There's the shockwave on Enchant. She's actually really low already, so I don't remember if I killed her or not, but comes a skewer. Yep, gonna catch both, and we do get the kill, so run out of mana for Arcanes, but once again, can trade hits pretty evenly with the anti-mage. Oh, damn! Oh, <laughs> yes. Nice Sunstrike from uh, Blitz there, he's paying attention, so we get the kill, double kill on the bot lane. Once again, just having a lot of mana pool is great for um, for Magnus, since his Shockwave is pretty inexpensive. It's only 90 mana, does 300 damage. Skewer as well, does a lot of damage. Um, 280 damage from Skewer, 300 damage from Shockwave, and you have an AoE stun. Just all around makes Magnus a really strong hero by just having mana. That's about it, it doesn't really take a whole lot other than that, so... Regardless, my man is still pretty darn empty. I am aiming for a Blink Dagger at the moment. Pretty typical Magnus item build. The reason you grab the Blink is it gives you more options um, to initiate, to escape. You can jump in and reverse polarity. You can jump in and skewer and into blur reverse polarity. You can Blink towards them and skewer your opponents back towards you. Now, I don't really know why I skewer towards that, because I was just kind of gambling the rune would be there, but I'm going back to base now. Dazzle gets another kill in the top lane, so he's doing quite well. Um... Okay, let me check his items really quick here. Um, this is actually his player perspective. Soul Ring and Abracer. Not a huge fan of those items, but... And any of the other heroes. It doesn't look like I've been clicking on them in-game or just not showing for some reason. So I'll look at my hero perspective now. I'm going back to heal. Still didn't have a Blink Dagger. But there's a lot of heroes top, and I do have reverse priority up, so you should probably try to make something happen. Especially if you're playing a long lane solo and you have a big team fight ulti similar to a Tidehunter or a Magnus. You should almost always go use them. I mean, it's great to go farm and all, but, I mean, having the, being able to initiate is a big deal. Let's see if this guy gets killed or not. He does get killed. Alright, and I was able to shockwave and initiate on the Spirit Breaker to help turn that fight. If not for that, we might have seen one of those guys die, so my movement was definitely effective there. Radiance top tower is under attack. It's a TP from Enchantress, which I was a little surprised about. So I ultied her. My sprites are with us. Oh no. I don't remember this part. <laughs> oh, I have another shockwave. It's fine. Dagger's gonna get the kill, actually. So Kia's happy with that one. That was a big mistake from the Enchantress. Just a really easy kill there. And this is gonna be a Spirit Breaker, actually. Do I send him back? Is the question. Oops, I did that way too early. <laughs> Escaping anyways, he's gonna die for sure. No way he'll survive that. I was like, whoop. Alright, that's a kill. Check in for rune, no rune once again, but I can't afford my blink dagger now, so I'll send that on the way. Blink dagger, good item, man. Try to harass the panda, but he's gonna dodge that shockwave. In the mid tower. We're gonna take that pretty easily. Is that a. No, it's not just a regular career. I do have Blink Dagger though, so now I can start doing some fancy things. Yes, take that Spirit Breaker. So that's exactly what you can do with Blink Dagger. You just go high ground, can blink into people, 
and you can skewer them down to the low ground, so it's pretty fun. Find an Enchantress getting caught as well, that's going to be another easy kill. Just a little Shockwave spam. And even after all of that, I still have a lot of mana in the bank. Just a simple Blink Skewer with a Shockwave. Take people from the high ground, put them to the low ground. Get them out of position, they hit a big slow after that. Skewer does slow for, I believe, 40%. Uh, yeah, 40% for up to 2.5 seconds. Why, wow, I didn't realize, I thought the slow duration scaled, I'm sorry. Huh. I thought that scaled. It does not, apparently. So, gonna grab an invis rune, finally getting a rune here. 14 minutes. Just gonna wait to use arcane, I think, before I went invis. No, I think I was just gonna go... I don't really need to farm at this point. I pretty much got every item I need for the rest of the game with blink arcane and a bottle. You really don't need a whole lot more than these items. I'm gonna go invis. Uh, that was a little bit of a weak, really weak ulti, by the way. But I did ulti on top of the panda. We were scared that he was gonna be able to use um, his, uh, his ulti. More slows on the anti mage, he's gonna get pushback. So, I maybe should have just waited. Oops, didn't see anti mage coming back. Oh, I kind of get out of mana, that's why I can't do that. So, no more kills there, but we did get the panda, that's a big deal. Uh, ulting him is, is definitely worth it. Do the two and a half second disable. I wish I would have caught the anti mage as well, but it's not the end of the world. It's kind of a oh, I didn't expect to see anti mage there, and I missed my skewer. So, Super pro bad initiations. See a Dazzle coming in too. Super sick shockwave. Did you guys see that? It was really good. From here on out, aiming for Refresher Orb most likely. This is the item popularized by EG's Demon, I believe. Um, they were one of the teams that started playing Magnus a whole crap load. The reason this works out so well is um, usually you don't actually aim for a carry role on your Magnus. You actually aim for kind of like a support initiator role. Um, a lot of pubs kind of play him as a carry, which means treads and battle fear and stuff. I'll show you. I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second after this fight ends. But I'm going to TP in because I know stuff's happening. And I'm going to shift blink. That way I can get past automatically and skewer everybody together. Use Oh, my ulti was on cooldown. I forgot about that. Oh, God. So painful. If I had my ulti there, that would have been a team fight win. One more nuking the enemy team. Got ulti up in three seconds. And I was trying to turn the fight. Oh god, he crit me. I should have done that earlier. I think I, I could have ultied a couple seconds earlier. I think that was a big mistake for me. We're gonna see everybody die here, pretty much. Yep, I messed that up. So, um, I think the panda clapped on me just past the tower, and I should have ultied right there with on two. I think that would have been good, but I didn't do it. Um, I wish I would have had it for the epic skewer when I skewered like four guys together. That would have been really good, but that would have been a team fight wipe if that happened, because the disable is just so long. Very, very powerful ulti. It's, and the reason it's so powerful, by the way, guys, it's not just because of the stun that goes through Magic Community. It's also because it's also a vacuum. So it's like a vacuum and an ulti at the same time. It's just so useful. I'm going to be able to kill Enchantress here, and I'm going to TP immediately. I do have my ulti this time. So I'm going to push the panda, or sorry, the, the panda away. There's the finger of death. All right, what was I talking about? Initiating. Carry Magnus is popular in pubs. Things like Treads, Daedalus, uh, Battle Fury, very popular in pub games. If you're playing something more serious, or at least you want to play a slightly different role that is more based on initiation, just go Blink Arcane, you have a lot more mana, you don't have to focus on your attack speed, and you can always just give empower to somebody else. That can be somebody like PA, that can be somebody like, um, I don't know, you can even give it to a range carry like Invoker. If I want to give it to him, it inc increases his base damage by 50%, which is, you know, 50 to 60 damage. So I can keep that up onto two heroes. It's very, very easy. Staying my ring of health here, that's going to start things off. And then when you get late game, you're going to have enough mana with Arcane Boots and Refresher to be able to actually cycle through that and cast your ulti twice. I was just canceling my ulti for fun there. You can you can cast it and then cancel it. So, waiting for somebody to show up to the top lane so we could kill them. I had my ulti up, so if anybody shows, they die pretty much. Radiance top tower is under and attack. nobody's showing up and we're getting disappointed so we see the dazzle at least and it seems like everybody's going on will so I can't remember how I reacted to this one but we'll see 
Looking for my blink. Got all four. Should have skewered it there as well, but I didn't think to do that for some reason. Now I pop the bottle. Short range skewer, and I get the kill. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, after I ultied, I should have shockwaved and it skewered all four, because that would have done an extra 280 damage to all four. And once they, because once they spread out, it's very difficult to land multiples within the within the AOE. And we do see the hero down here, so we're gonna dive him. <laughs> I thought we were gonna go in on this, but I think uh, then Will just killed him. Blitz, that is. So now casting some empower. Probably the best shockwave you've ever seen right there. And um, I'm totally not using my arcane here because I'm super pro. There it goes. So, team fights are being won by the AoE. It helps a lot to land uh, your good ultis. Arcane Refresher is definitely the most popular build. Refresher is a really expensive item though, so there is a massive change in performance between using it the first time. Uh, I'm sorry, between finishing your Blink Dagger and finishing your Refresher, because the Perseverance is fine, but it's not that useful, to be honest, in comparison to what other, some other items could be. Yeah, there's a charge on me here. Just trying to stay back and help out if possible. And by that, I mean run away. For some bonus damage on somebody. I just gave bonus damage to the uh, Invoker here, and he's going to split off, so... That looks like Lion's gonna die. Yes. Invoker kills Dazzle as well. I'm kind of surprised he didn't jump on me a bit. I was a little worried about him initiating on me, I think. So I blinked away there. And now we get a kill. I almost. Wait. Oh yeah, I think I still do die. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> as soon as the Impetus starts hitting me and I have to skewer away, it's a pretty easy kill. So, I died. I probably should have just uh, skewered him immediately in Impetus. I wasn't watching the map either, which was a mistake for me because I should have been able to get away from the Enchantress, but I had tunnel vision from seeing the panda, so it's a mistake. And of course now Will is just going to crush everybody in case he's not doing that enough. Shadow Blade, Yules, he's being chased. Really good way to dodge uh, those stuns, by the way. Who even needs Ghost Walk when you have that skill? He's thinking about fighting this, but it's not a very good idea, I don't think. His HP is very low. Or maybe it is worth it. Stacking his stuns a little bit there, slight mistake. Ooh, he looks dead. Wow, he does die. Well, that was a big mistake. And I'm back alive. I can sell my stop shield. Don't really need it that bad anymore. Man, I was dead for a long time there. I see a dead hero. It's a good combo, pretty good combo. It's definitely, I think it's his favorite invoker method at the moment is to do that. It's uh, It does a lot of single target damage, basically. The Meteor's also good, but once you hit the Yules, if they don't have magic immunity, like a BKB or a Rage or something, that they just die immediately. There's no way to get out of it. You can blink as well, it's another way to do it. He's now killed Anti-Mage. <laughs> Anti-Mage having a good time. And I finished my Perseverance, which will put me towards, uh, towards the next item. Finally found that uh, rune. And then I see a panda. It's kind of fun. He blinked. I was thinking about securing him there, but hey. There's the haste. I don't remember what exactly what I do here, but I tried to blink secure, he juked me really hard. That was a big mistake for me. And finally the spirit breaker gets up to me. And no problem guys. Just ulti that one so I don't die. Bottle this up a bit, and this is going to get us a kill, so... That was really close. Definitely almost died there, but I reversed polarity just to stay alive. I had to. It's definitely the... I actually lost a lot of bottle charges in that, but Spirit Breaker's long gone. I thought maybe he was still there, but he's not. Anti-Mage DCs. I don't remember if this is a Rage Quit or not, so I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. 
regardless, I think you guys can see the power of Magnus. I mean, I don't think I... This is the first game that I played Magnus since the last time I made a video, and it didn't really take a whole lot of practice to do well. So I think the hero is definitely a little too good. Good thing he's getting nerfed. Um, you won't see any more early game skewer lameness. It doesn't affect magic immune targets either, which isn't that big of a deal in what we're playing. Um, but in terms of uh, pro scene, it makes a big deal, because BKBs are definitely a function and a fixture of the late game pro scene. So um, being able to skewer people through that, it's pretty unfair. You could reverse player to your whole team, skewer them all inside your base, which is very abusable. The amount of um, movement that Magnus has, I can keep him out of danger and things like that. So get a panda here. It's like easy kills for him. He'll get at least one. North Courier. It's like the best way to change somebody's uh, direction. <laughs> Just pay with the Courier. I'm about 700 gold away from a Refresher, I think. And we have two heroes dead at the moment, so I was kind of like, oh, I guess we should go defend mid, maybe. Might be smart. Our PA is pretty far behind them. Let me double check her items. Uh, she, yeah, Dyer's she's got nothing. Absolutely nothing. I seem to remember with somebody that's having leg problems, so... That explains things. Yeah, I think that's what happened, I remember now. They were having some leg issues, so last hitting was not going well. Not really sure what item build they are going, but... Um, almost stacked that, I think, but then I lost my timer, so... I do have a DD, though, and I think my cleave's at 4 levels now, so that gives you 50% damage and 50% cleave. That's for you, our allies, 40 second duration, 12 second cooldown, you can keep that up on 3 heroes. I don't- I can't solo kill a panda, I don't believe, because he's got tons of evasion. By tons, I mean 25%. Evasion is evasion. He disconnected again. <laughs> oh man. It's never gonna get old. Sup, random creeps. I should have been farming this whole time, by the way. Just wasted a lot of time looking around. It's something you don't always notice while you're in the game, but um, looking at this now, I definitely wasted way too much time there just looking around the map. I could have honestly just right clicked neutrals the entire time, and I didn't. I just stood there. So, two or three camps that I could have taken. Possibly. Big wave down here. Almost lost in power for a sec. Nice. So, lots of farm, and I think that's going to be the Refresher Orb. I think it's about 1870 or something like that for the for the last item. Will it look dead, or not? Anti-Mage may be back. Just going to walk away from the whole team, I guess. So I'll just counter push the bot lane for now. Since they're all MA. Once again, could have a fresh orb, but for some reason I did not purchase it. Best way you can counter push is a Magnus is just clear the creep waves. My DD activated just now, so. Just blink dodge some of that damage and then hop back into it. They're actually all team fighting without me, so it's a slight mistake for me. I finally sent get my items on the way. It's very tough to usually finish the refresh orb, though. I've done it. I played Magnus a couple games, even when I did really well. It takes quite a while to get there. I don't know if I can save Kennegate or not here. I'm trying to get there in time. I do have my ulti up, of course, so. Nope, and he ends up dying, so. Steedy really helps out there. Give extra bonus damage to the invoker. I'm gonna put bonus damage on the PA as well, because you're essentially giving them a battle fury, free battle fury. That's a huge amount of damage. There it is. Free damage for the PA. Yes, refresher. So this is gonna allow me to ulti for. Five seconds, sorry, four seconds on a hero. Refresh and then ulti for another four seconds. This goes through magic immunity. They're also going to be extremely clumped when I do this. If you want to talk about a really good skill, that's the one. Reverse polarity, one of the best stuns in the game. This makes all the AoE so easy. Still in last hits. Yes. It's got Yule's Agonims. Gonna cancel in the ulti. 
because it's awesome and fun to do. Did they have a ward? I think they did. Seems like it. They said something. It's really scary to do that though, because if you mess up, everybody laughs at you. But luckily I have a refresher, so even if I do dick it up, it doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter in the slightest. And I opted to initiate, and there you go, you blink in, you reverse polarity. Occasionally I get unstunned, and I can RP again. And we kind of won an easy team fight there. I don't think anybody got even close to dying. That Dazzle got graved back. I'm confused. Not so fast. Super good skewer, as you guys can see. My initiation wasn't that great though. Um, I only RP two people. Once you do though, skewer them out, refresh, and then look for the second one. I got stunned for a while there. I think the Spirit Breaker maybe charged me or something like that. I'm not sure what happened exactly. And that did cost almost all of my mana pool, but I mean that's what you're basically aiming for. And all you have to do, like if you're at all close in farm, you literally just win a team fight by getting a good RP. So it's a very, very scary hero to play against. Is why almost all teams are currently banning against the hero is because if you land the ulti in a bad situation, if you grab four people and put them in a clump, like your AoE is just going to stack so hard and you're going to win team fights and games from it. So Magnus definitely deserved a nerf and uh, this is probably pretty soon here we'll have the patch actually applied to live and you won't be able to see um, overpowered mag. I think he's still going to be a viable top pick possibly, maybe in a mid roll more than a long lane, but I regardless still think a, a long lane roll will work. It's 600 range is not bad, honestly. 1200 range is really, really, really good. 600 range is still doable, I think, so. And there's a sweet abandon from the anti-mage. I didn't realize he got one of those, and the rest of the Radiant team is going to DC because apparently they can't stand the 20 second wait. So they will do that. I have 5,000 gold, which means that I should obviously grab a Ghost Scepter. Nice. Do you guys like my ulti there? It was really good. <laughs> now we do AoE. That's a dead hero. Live. God, I was really close. I almost died. Alright, that's the end of the game. Magnus, long lane solo. Try to screw people into your tower. Uh, turn this into Arcane Boots, Blink Dagger most likely, and then... Um, Refresher if you're doing really really well. That's what you aim for. Thanks everybody for watching and um, I'll be making some more videos pretty soon here uh, Hopefully some more casting this week. I believe there's casting coming up tomorrow, and I think that's it I'll play shredder soon. I know you guys are waiting for it. I'll try to play maybe sometime today. All right. See you later. Bye